I'll just preach for maybe 20 minutes and we'll close. Sit on top of all your enemies, everybody. Genesis 39 and verse 1. This is the month of kingdom success. And the topic for today first service, second service, third service kingdom success systems. Genesis 31 39 from Basil. Bible said, And Joseph was brought down to Egypt and put it for the officer of a Pharaoh captain of the guard. An Egyptian bought him of the hand of the Ishmaelites, which he had brought him down, which had brought him down thither. And the Lord was with Joseph, and he was a prosperous man. And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. And his master saw that the Lord was with him, and that the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hands. And Joseph found grace in the sight and he served him and he made him overseer over all his house and all that he had he put into the hand of joseph praise the lord now i told us that there are three things that are here which combine together to make joseph a strong successful person number one we say there was a spiritual power system spiritual power system god was with joseph so God being with a man is a guarantee for that man succeeding anywhere. The man that has God backing him will never see on his, will never see his back on the ground. The more you will outstand your neighbor is based on the force that is backing you. Can I shock you? Everyone you see doing well is doing well because there is an invisible hand powering the visible things they do. If no invisible hand powers the invisible thing you do, the visible thing you do will struggle anytime you see anybody doing well there is a display of the invisible you know that man naturally is a spirit every man you see is a spirit so for man to succeed in the natural realm the invisible must back him so joseph in the house of potiphar as a slave did well because god backed him and we said in second service if god be with you you too must be with God. God being with you and you not being with God is the reason why things will not work. How can two work together except they agree? God is with me. I am also with God. And I have to make everyone that knows me know. God is not just with me. I am also with God. God with me and me with God. is a strong company that will enjoy success. Your success is as good as the company that stays around you. He that works with the wise shall be wise. So God with you is a strong combination for unusual success. Number two. And Potiphar saw that all that he did, God made him to prosper. All that he did in life no man does nothing until his mind is deployed it is the use of your mind that determines how useful you'll be the second power is the power of intellect and mentality the power of intellect can i shock you success is not rooted in geographical locations success is rooted in the mentality location of your life where your mind is located that is what qualifies how far you're going to go for as a man thinketh in his heart so we see your thoughts determines what you take as a man thinketh as a man thinketh hear me the visible success of every man is first rooted in their thoughts it is what is in the thoughts that becomes what you will take around so if i see what you are pulling i will see what is pulling you what is pulling your thought is what pulls you out ladies and gentlemen he walked he walked no man walked without his mind no man walked have you seen why a madman can never be given uh, an employment have you ever seen a a, a, a a business owner employing a madman if you see a business owner employing a madman i can assure you that the business owner is also mad because it takes a madman to employ a madman 
but if the business owner is sane he can never employ a madman because a madman was spoiled a madman was scattered what is it that makes a madman mind it is because his mind is not working when your mind starts stopped working you stop working in life a madman walks not nowhere he, can, he cannot walk anywhere he can never walk anywhere the only thing he does is walk around he walks around he cannot walk anywhere why because his mind is battered he cannot offer tangible values hear me everybody your success is tied to the use of your mind after you must have prayed securing the backing of god grow your mind grown mind is the power behind growing your wealth if you see anyone not doing well and is a child of god it's as a result of being in christ but not growing in your mind you can be in god and your mind is not growing and things will not grow around you ladies and gentlemen the greatest gift god has given to man is the gift of the mind do you know that god sustains your spirit god write it down god sustains your spirit but your mind sustains your life can i say it again god sustains your spirit but it is your mind that sustains your life god will give you opportunities your mind will sustain the opportunity god will give you a seed your mind will plant the seed for the harvest of your life what your mind cannot do hmm? or what your mind does not think to do god won't do for you your mind is a force in your prosperity level your mind is a force mind is a force your mind is a force proverbs 22 and verse 6 the bible says train your train train up a child in the way he should go by and and when how many goes grows up he will not depart from it it says train a child in the way he should go and when he grows up he will not depart from that way what does that mean when you're training a child what are you really doing you are training the mind of that child now which means anybody can train himself for success can I tell you don't wait to have children to begin to train your children begin to train yourself because some of us are not trained by anybody you just wake up you know no father no mother you began you began running around you understand now the first thing to do train yourself train yourself train yourself and the more you're getting older the part where you've trained yourself to be in will begin to usher you to success train yourself to think success train yourself to be excellent in what you do Train yourself to think the way forward. The people that anytime you locate their mind, they think backward. Every time you meet with them, they're talking about what happened five years ago, ten years ago. You can't be looking backward and think of going forward. If your mind is at the back, your life is at the back. So train your mind. Bible said, train your mind or train the child the way he should go. So train your mind the way he should think. It's not every thought you must think there are some thoughts that are damaging to your success as they are crossing your mind you are pulling them off you are removing you are in a hurry to discharge them you are in a hurry to remove them because if you allow that thought it will take you to poverty train your mind because i am a father what do i do in training a child you are actually training the mind I think that I tell the child, this is what you do. You're, 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 you're putting in principles into the mind. So, if nobody has taught you, begin to teach yourself. Begin to train yourself. <laughs> Even if they trained you wrongly, untrain yourself. 
or retain yourself that's why you're a child of god now that's why you have the holy ghost now that's why you have the word of god now that's why you're in this church so that every word you're hearing is retraining you you show your father beat your mother you show your father embarrass your mother i'm here to train you how not to beat but how to love and care and take care and go develop that's you know you, you saw your father do it must you do it you must you shouldn't do it you saw people gossip other people who has ever gossiped others to become great you train your mind i can't i can't work like that in talking about people who are head at the back it means you are signing yourself to remain at the back and if you are head and they are talking about you train yourself never to look back talk at the back i'm going front because talking at the back want to make you look back and if you look back you go back so if they are talking at you at your back organize yourself train yourself to say for whatever for whatever they are calling you come for whatever for whatever for what because one minute looking back maybe 10 years backward i've seen people look back one second and five years they were at the back they began to struggle to come up what am i saying this moment hey your mind is your greatest gift train it in training your mind you save your future look at that scripture <laughs> train the child the way he should go and when he becomes old he will not depart from it do you know that to succeed in the next year train your mind in this year see what that scripture says train a child in the way that he should go and when he grows up when will he grow up future when will he grow up tomorrow so if you want to be successful in that tomorrow train yourself today for success of it tomorrow most of us you want to enter 2022 and become successful it doesn't work like that it is in training yourself today that you secure the future <laughs> train a child in the way he should go and when he grows up the training of yesterday becomes what guides him today so great parents they look at the future to train a child you look at the future you want to have train your mind to agree with that future look at where god is taking you and begin now don't say when i enter the future i begin to organize my mind organize your mind now do you know that the greatest pain on earth is success meeting you unprepared opportunities coming your way when you're not prepared opportunities that locate you unprepared will be a disaster but come on if opportunity meets you prepared Satagabaha, success will answer to you I, we gave somebody contract in in our site he failed he didn't do well we gave that contract it took a while we gave another that same contract in five days he delivered in short when i gave him when we told him we were giving him he said sir um i'll see you tomorrow two hours later he used his money bought the materials call me and say i bought material within three hours he produced four <laughs> who is who is better who is who is ready for the work and in five days he finished all early today he sent me message that they are finished i'm bringing tomorrow his contract was on thursday friday is finished or maybe uh, uh sat, sat, sunday uh, 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 okay tomorrow is delivering just in few days so who is more trained for the work train yourself because you never know when opportunity will come opportunity meet can i shock you this year is a year of opportunities and whether you like it or not it's going to knock at your door but the question now is if it knocks at your door how ready are you child of god train your mind train your mind millions are coming train your mind money is coming train your mind gold is locating some people if you are amongst them hit your leg on the ground and scream and amen and collect a portion child 
John, third John 1 and verse 2. Beloved, that which above all things, the name is prosper, being held even as your soul prospered. The prosperity of your soul is first before the prosperity of your hands. You want your hand to prosper, your soul must prosper first. So success is first of all rooted within before it can come out. Anytime you see anybody succeeding, nobody succeeds by chance. It is what is within that comes out. Praise the Lord. Say here. Say here. Proverbs 4 and verse 23. Keep thy heart with all diligence. Keep thy heart with all diligence. For out of your heart comes out the issues of your life. Which means the issues of your life are not decided by God. They are not decided by Satan. They are not decided by the economy of, of your nation. They are not decided by the environment you occupy. The issues of your life are decided with your heart. It says guard your heart. That word guard your heart simply means police your heart. Regulate your heart. Control your heart. The greatest thing to do is to be somebody who can put his heart under control. If you can control your heart, you control your world. It says guard your heart for out of your heart comes out the issues of your life let's look at it at the living word translation it says above all else guard your affection for they influence everything else about your life guard your affection they influence they influence they influence every other thing about you they influence they influence what does that mean your mind condition will become your condition on earth the state of your mind will become your estate on earth they influence they influence do you know that if your mind says somebody is bad even if the person is loving you the love will begin to treat you bad if your heart tells you the food is poison if there's no poison on the food eat it poison will start working in your body if your mind tells you you're going to die god will save you i will succeed angels of success will run away it is impossible <laughs> possibilities will desert you whatever the mind concludes that's why you must guard your mind your life is concluded by your mind that's why you must guard your mind don't allow everything cross your mind there are things as they are crossing you are in a hurry to remove them as they are entering you are pushing them out you know you can't stop thoughts coming but you can stop thoughts settling on you thought comes at will but you too at will must be resisting thoughts am I talking are we together guard your heart tell your neighbor please guard your heart tell him again never 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 I'm prophesying to you guard your heart shut up Akaya. new living translation it says guard your heart above all because it determines the cost of your life guard your heart above all because it determines the cause the cause the cause it determines the happenings the happenings the happenings of your life i've seen young girls that couldn't get married because when they got to see their mother-in-law they had told them from big girl don't greet her after all she's an old woman in the village show her you're from the city show her you are wearing Brazilian Peruvian. Her heart made her disdain the mother-in-law to be. And the woman who knows how to corner the son or corner the son in the bedroom and say, Son, son, if you don't obey me, this breast that give you suck will fight you. Carry that girl back home. She I can't mother her. In trying to mother her, she will mother me. You know, there's mother MO. And his mother, MOU. Your mama will tell you, well, in trying to mother her, MO, she will mother me, MOU. The way your mother, your mother will talk to the son. The son will just come out and say, let's go back, let's go back. Enter the car. On the way, the boy will start behaving somehow. When they drop in your house, you discover that his land doesn't go anymore. You will now realize he has a secret number you don't know. The challenge is not that the boy hates you, he loves you. But the way you think has removed you. The mother has brainwashed. And when mother's brainwashed, you can't wash back. 
and the, that one will be saying there's a Satan somewhere. There's no Satan somewhere. Most of us, what we are calling and saying is Satan, it's not Satan at all. It's just the stupidity of your heart. A heart determines how high you go. Your heart, your mind, is what makes you. Let me tell you what, what God told me when I was 18. He said, if you want to be useful, use your mind. Your usefulness is in the usage of your mind. You want to be successful? Use your mind well. I see people who say, well, church people don't prosper. It's because church people, they pray too much, they don't engage their mind. If you are a child of God, you know your mind bible said in second corinthians chapter chapter 2 verse 16 that we have the mind of christ so for the fact you're a child of god the mind of christ is given to you but you must engage that mind don't just be praying father help me father help me father help me, without sitting down and thinking was it not jesus said watch and pray so if you're just praying, Father, prosper, 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 prosper. After saying prosper, 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 sit down and say, Father, what steps do I take? Why is it not working? Where am I committing blunders? Why is it not working? How come others are working? It's working. It's not working for me. Most of the time we say it's the devil, but I've come to a conclusion: most claim is the devil. It's not the devil. It's just the inability to deploy the power of the mind do you want to be successful grow your mind for as a man think it is as always I want to give you three people okay Okay, let me leave it. How do we position our mind for success? Luke chapter 15, verse number 11 to 18. We'll just read it and I'll give that a close. And he said, A certain man had two sons, and the younger of them said unto his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that followed to me. And he divided unto them he's leaving and not many days after the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country and there he wasted his substance in rather's living and when he had spent all there arose a mighty famine in that land and began to be and he began to be in want now before I read further can I ask us what made the boy to ask the father to give him? His mind was desiring better life. So it was by the desires of a heart that he went to ask the father. And suddenly he got it. And I ask us again, what is it that made the boy to leave his father? Decisions of a heart. First one was desires of a heart. Second one was decisions of a heart now he desired he got it he decided to run away from his father and when he ran away he will have run away to invest he ran away to finish what made him finish decisions of the heart and Bible said when he finished he began to be in want and nobody could give him if you read that Bible says that after a while he came back to him senses mind came back he told himself how many of my father's house servants do have food enough to eat and to spare and now i'm here wasting i will go back to my father what am i trying to make you know by his heart desires he asked and got it by his heart decisions he walked away from his father he lost it by his heart coming back to senses he went back again and was restored again everything about this boy is a display of our heart your heart can bring you down your heart can bring you up somebody 
if that boy went down and say, saying there was one demon somewhere was he demon that says you eat and finish it's because your sofa gods cannot be controlled some of us our sofa gods is our life you can't control it anything as long as money they pocket you are spending spend you know money has a language the language of money is buy 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 but if you're foolish you'll be foolish to be buying everything because if you overbuy poverty will arise and poverty is wonderful it doesn't come when you have do you know the truth poverty is everywhere waiting for you to finish the day you finish poverty will come out and say gan, 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 gan. i'm here so before it finishes tell yourself i know i know poverty is around so i won't give him chance to show i will show him i'm wiser than him by making sure that I don't obey the commandment of money. Buy, buy, buy. There are some things. Buy, I won't buy. I realize at 18 that problem doesn't finish. Do you know? Eh? Problem doesn't finish. And number two, good things never finish. The one you say is good today, a better one is coming out. So why kill yourself on the one that is around today, knowing that a better one? I, if I if I don't have to buy, I, I I didn't plan to buy. I won't buy because a better one is coming. Buy the one of today. When I will buy, now buy the latest. So you must not as you spend all because your heart does not have control. Poverty will come out and say, I have been around, you didn't know. Now I've come to introduce myself to you. Before poverty will introduce himself, introduce your wisdom. Before poverty will introduce himself, introduce your wisdom. With this man's mind, he lost it. But I love him so much. That with the same mind he used in losing all with that same mind also he was able to recover all somebody i pray if you've lost before you are recovering from today if that didn't mean is good grace will locate you how do i position my mind for success number one give god the right to inspire your spirit give god the right to inspire your spirit to be inspired simply means to be mentally stimulated to be in vision beyond your now to be motivated motivated to create out of the existing create something out of nothing your mind is so motivated the more god is is inspiring you the more your mind is challenged to create things create things out of small do you know that every big man you see today they created bigness with small things it's actually the growth of small things that makes you success if you can grow small things if small things can grow in your hands success will answer to your life and it takes you using your mind well for small things to grow in your hand child of god that small thing in your hand can grow it can grow it can grow how will it grow don't spend all <laughs> don't spend all don't play fool don't allow your mind to deceive you your mind is saying buy 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 and there's some wives that are not wise your husband is buying you're saying buy more sweetie buy more honey and he's buying more when he finishes you'll be the first person to cry early morning the man will just go out go to friend's house there are some men who are who are, who are very very foolish you will early morning you will leave the woman in the house you will go somewhere you will say the woman will call and say i'm coming now I say i'm coming food is going now sweetheart there's nothing I'm, I'm coming now i'm just coming he's, a, he's around friends he will attach himself to friends as they are buying they're buying for him only some wise men when they are buying they buy bye bye say ah uh, it's like my woman need me let me rush home you are not eating no, no give me take away take away take away take away to family take away but some will will even buy five eat eat all go back home clear mouth you don't cook anything here god punish that man as a bad man <laughs> i was told of a man who was taken to the uh, ultimate here and he sat down ate three plates of fufu with light soup and that day his family was hungry he sat down finished number one poor number two poor say bring number three finish it <laughs> when he stood up his bed couldn't lock his stomach anymore he went back home his family was hungry is that a man he's not a, a man he's a man 
None of my children will be like that. Oh, I'm praying. I said, you can never be like that. I said again, you can never, never, never be like that. Lift your voice and shout and me like a thunder. You can't be like that because me, your father, I'm not like that. My wife is here. I am not like that at all. For these 15 years, I'm not like that. I'm not. They must eat. And they'll keep on eating. Shut that garbage. Give God the right to inspire your mind. Job 32 and verse number 8. It says, but there is a spirit in a man. The inspiration of the, of the almighty give it him understanding. There is a spirit in a the man. There is a spirit in a man. The inspiration of the almighty give it him understanding. He's a great man and not usually wise. Neither do the aged understand judgment. There is a spirit in you. Hear me everybody. There is a spirit in you. Allow the almighty to inspire that spirit. Glory to God. How do you do that? Engage God's kind of thought. In thinking the way God thinks, God will see the passage to influence your mind. Instead of sitting down and you're just watching um, part one, part two, part three, open your heart so that God's thoughts can pass through your thought. Do you know that you can choose what to think? You can choose what to think allow God's kind of thoughts to pass through your mind. The Bible says, if I know the thought that I think towards you, so if God knows that he has a thought towards you, you too need to know the thought God thinks towards you. And when you know the thoughts of God, open your heart so that the thought of God will consistently pass through your heart. As the thought of God passes through your own thoughts, it inspires your thoughts. Glory to God. Number two, engage a life-challenging or a life-changing thought engage a life challenging thought life changing thought sorry life changing thought think wild think large think creatively think success think success to a level where you kill failure you can kill failure with your thoughts you think oh sometimes just close your eyes sometimes fantasize see yourself the ceo see yourself the owner of a bank see yourself large you are just lying down on your bed and your heart is branching levels now when you see a man doing that his eyes is closed but his mouth will be smiling have you, ever, have you not seen men who are sitting down you think they are sleeping the man is just smiling he is using his heart visiting places you you use your mind always visiting your past always visiting how impossible do you know somebody can sit down and and somebody is telling him do you know you won't succeed and you'll be thinking nice nah, true what if i didn't succeed what of you are just thinking what of what of if they didn't they they reject me what of if this thing doesn't work what of you are using your own thought working against yourself somebody told me his wife one day told him and said do you know every time you go to office i was i was just be thinking what if my husband failed I would think, what if you fail? How how will we suffer? How will we not live in a house? She said that one day she thought, 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 thought. She saw herself and the whole family in the village. They are taking food. She said she thought, thought. She thought she now was carried away by thought. She dreamt that they were they were half naked making food on the road. And the husband came and said, No, a demon has. I said, No, it's not demon. She's not controlling her thoughts. And you know, if she doesn't take care of that, what she was seeing in her thought will become her life whatever goes on in you will one day happen around you so there are things that if they are crossing around you refuse them hey instead of using your mind thinking small things think large don't think problems think solution think solution anytime you're in the midst of challenge don't open your mouth to the challenge of your now open your mouth finding solution the mind is given to you to find answers Questions may be around you. Use your mind in finding answers. Can I shock you? There is no answer your mind can catch. Answers comes to you like ideas. Ideas comes to you like thoughts. So seize the thoughts, you will see idea. Seize idea, you will see solution. You 
give that clap is unto God, I think he should do it then. Brimstone. When you go back home, read the account of God. It was by thinking that God changed his world. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was void and formless, and darkness was all over the face of a deep. But the spirit of the Lord was brooding. That word brooding means to be to be pon to ponder upon, to ponder upon simply means to think deep. God, by thinking, taught out light. And out of light, darkness was conquered. So if things are bad, don't open your heart to how bad they are. Open your heart. Thinking God's thoughts, you will find an answer. And the answers you find from within will give you permanent solution on earth. Can I give you this advice? Don't take ad don't take answers from people. Take answers from within you. Even when men give you answer, the answers of men settle in your, in your heart. Let the answer man gives you produce an answer from you. Then deploy the one that came from you. You have a permanent solution. Are we together? Are we together? Somebody say two times two is four. It's just one. Two times two is four. And life say explain how two by two shall be four. You can't explain it. You fail again. But two times two is four. Ah, he's not saying now. How will two times two be four? You settle down to think through. Anytime you think through, breakthrough is sure. You think through, you think through. So you understand the formula. How two by two can be four? And you now step out. Two times two, four. How is it four? You explain well. Life will say, pass on. Look at God. Number two, look at the woman with issue of blood. Bible said, and she said to herself, if I will touch the hem of his garment, and I shall be healed. She said to herself, when you are thinking, you are talking to yourself. Anytime you engage in a deep thought, self is talking to self. Hear me? That's why it's good to sometimes be quiet. When you're quiet, you will hear yourself. You say, as I'm talking now, you are hearing me. But when I'm quiet, I will hear myself. The greatest is what you hear by yourself the greatest that can give you success is what you hear by yourself I position my mind by hearing from within me I take from within me to run around what comes out of you will settle you better ask the prodigal son Bible says when he came to his senses Sometimes poverty is an organized package to return it to your sense. You know, some, sometimes poverty is not bad. It's a well-organized package. Have you gone to, okay, the stimulus package. Have you gone to empty and they will say, which package? Hmm? Which, which package, data package? Sometimes banks will roll out some package. You understand? So poverty is a package organized to correct your mind. <laughs> When poverty comes, mine will return back. The boy suffered. But I want to teach you a lesson. Don't allow poverty to return your mind. Organize your mind before poverty comes. It can be destructive. It can be dangerous when poverty corrects your mind. Correct your mind before poverty comes. And you have the right to do that. Bible said, after, po after he must have suffered, hunger has beaten him enough. Bible said, and when he came back to his senses. Which means his senses traveled before. And you know what took away his sense? Enjoyment. Chilling and flexing. It's good to chill, but don't ever chill. Friendship. Girls, girls. Girls, girls. You understand what I mean by girls, girls? You don't understand? Huh? Girls, simonia. You know, there are people that, that's their sickness. Their sickness is what is called girls, simonia anything is scared they will only eat your money and leave you empty the money you will have used to buy land build house become plant business one tiny rugged rugged leg girl who just stand before you flex and bum bum like this collect all you came loaded you left her empty she has sapped you may god may god flog your bum bum Go 
first time before you do like this you give everything you forget your wife forget your children you give everything forget your mind you give everything don't worry poverty will return the mind when hunger slap you left right left right and she come again you say you i don't need you anymore <laughs> before you say i don't need you anymore ah open your eye now Sorry. the way you're looking at me you don't like what i'm saying you better like it though <laughs> or there are some friends when they're around you all about they're hailing you hey cheer hey Igwe. hey okaba, okaba. hey they're just hailing you and as they're hailing you you're fooling yourself i'm saying give all of them you are declaring wait one poverty will declare on you <laughs> you are just declaring take all of you ah you're just sponsoring <laughs> the day you now finish you say kai let me call let me call benga you call his line you say hello hello who is this huh you don't know my number again the voice sound familiar please can i can you can you explain yourself who do you, do you really say i want to talk to i want to talk to you who you call your name me this one know you where which city are you living in? I live in Accra. Ah, uh, I think it's a wrong number. No, I know your voice. I, I'm not even hearing you well. Network, network, network. <laughs> Be wise. Did that make sense to you? Please draw your ear and tell yourself, I must be wise. I must use my mind well. You know, there are some guests who are not wise. We already married. All your friends are. All your friends are still young girls, slay queens. So they're telling you every time, now nah, collect from your boss now. Nah, collect from now. Nah. Collect from me. Let's go out. Let's go out. You're always telling your husband, you know, um, uh, Maggie has not finished. Ah, sweetheart, Maggie has finished. Because you're looking for money to go and give your girlfriend. You are collecting from your own husband. You don't know that is your bank account. That's your ATM. If the thing finish, who will give you? You are just taking and you are doing girls, girls. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Poverty is an organized package to correct your mind. <laughs> oh, please, before poverty corrects your mind, correct yourself. Lift your hand. I said, Father God, help me to use my mind well. God, help me to use my mind well. Help me not to allow my mind to be strained away. Help me to train my mind for excellence. Train my mind the way it should go to meet the success in the future. Help me, Lord, not to allow every thought to flow through my mind. Help me to think wild. Think creatively. Help me to think success. Put your hand upon your forehead. Father, pray for everyone today. Enjoy the backings of God. Be an expert in using your mind. May you have the emotions to relate with people. These are three things that helped Joseph. God backed him. He had the right use of his mind. And he knew how to create partnership. He knew how to work with people. I pray for everybody today. May these three systems locate you. You won't fail. As your hand is upon your forehead, so shall the hand of God rest upon you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Somebody shall be better, amen. Yeah.